The simplest way to move shots on a timeline around is to use the reel. Tick Reel at the right of the timeline to display a storyboard view showing the first frame of each shot on the timeline. When you scroll through your edit, the storyboard highlights the current shot with an orange border and shows moving pictures. Tap on any frame and the cursor will jump to the start of that shot. You can also edit using this mode by clicking and dragging the thumbnails to change the order of the shots. Click and push up to select the clip, drag to a position where you see a thick yellow line and then drop. If you drop the clip onto the desktop, you have created a copy of the clip, so do not pick this up and drop it back into the reel unless you mean to. You can insert floating clips by simply dragging and dropping between thumbnails, but be careful not to go too far onto the timeline or you'll be overwriting instead of inserting. Reel works by referencing the V1 track, so it's not suitable to use where edits with split audio and video are present. It's also good practice to turn reel off once you've finished using it to prevent clips from being dropped in accidentally.